Hi YouTubers, as you can see I'm back now with the hits and misses of e.l.f. and this is the tool section. I wanted to do the brush video first but it just didn't work out so here I am with the tools. Okay now I'm going to be starting off with the essential line of tools and this is just kind of miscellaneous what my opinion is tools. Anyway, so I'm going to start off on essential line with the e.l.f. shine erasers and here they are you pull them out and there's like 50 of them they're only a dollar and I know there's the clean and clear ones like Neutrogena ones and like five to six dollars but I rather purchase like five of these you know for that price because I like to get more for my money and I'm sure you guys do too if you're on a budget and whatnot and I think these work wonderful too like I don't like to carry mattifying like powder around with me like it's just too much work and it takes too much space where as this is like a little thin thing you could just put in your back pocket maybe or even your purse like it just does not take enough a lot of space and works wonders total hit in my book okay next item is the elf eyebrow stencil kit this is something you see more online than you do in the store like at target and uh... they come with these like little clear eyebrow arches and you're not really going to see this because not the greatest quality camera right now but they also do come with uh, the papers of the arches, so you'll see this better. And here they are. I used to be really into um, doing my eyebrows, like I mean doing them, like the whole eyebrow pencil with the powder and gel and the concealer to really define them. Like, it's just not for me now. Like, I used to do that, you can see in my, like, February videos or March time, like my eyebrows are super done. Like, it just took too much time, and I'm a lazy person, and um, I like kind of more of a natural look for my eyebrows. Like, you might think they're kind of, like, messy and need a little plucking, but, you know, like, I'm just whatever with it. Like, I just like the very natural look, okay? So, anyway, when I had gotten these, I was doing my eyebrows at the time, and I thought how easy this would be to use. But can you see this on my eyebrow face? <laughs> on my face? Like, look how long that tail is that tail is like forever long like this eyebrow is huge compared to my like face and like I don't know if I have like a small face or I have like a small like eyebrow area or what but that is just like ginormous in my opinion and like even they have more like sharper arches this is one with a sharper arch this is one with more of a rounder arch and look how clownish that looks it's so long and rounded and it's just so impractical to me like these eyebrows look at this one it's supposed to be like a super arch but like I feel like that arch is like way too much in the beginning and there's like all, it's nothing but tail like this arch like stencil is just nothing but tail you know so these are total misses in my opinion okay so don't even bother with it next one is um, the elf eyelash curler and you might have seen this mechanical bad boy kind of a favorite amongst the elf community but me personally it's just not a favorite I'm sorry you guys are gonna hate me I know but anyway it's kind of like really round and like I don't know what exactly it is but okay I wasn't born with the most beautiful thick and long eyelashes I wish I was but I wasn't so I try like very hard to give myself the most dramatic natural li lashes as possible and you do too I know you do you try to get as close to the root and like the base of your eye lashes as possible to give it that nice long curl I know you do so when I try it with this it pinches like my eye every time and it hurts and I'm just like so frustrated with it I have a Mary Kay one and that one is like not as round here it is right here looks like a cheap one maybe but I know you're, you're thinking like well okay with the elf one don't get as close to your root you're like doing it to yourself but when I do it with my Mary Kay one it like does not pinch me whatsoever it works perfectly with my eye shape and it just curls my eye like perfectly or my eyelashes <laughs> not my eye but the elf mechanical one dollar one it's very cheap to me and it just hurts me so yeah total miss in my book okay now going on to studio products I'm gonna be talking now about the mini eyelash curler and this is a tiny little boy alright look next to 
the one dollar eyelash curler do you see how tiny that thing is okay so this one was three dollars and I'd seen it on the site and I had thought okay this is gonna be an eyelash curler that'll be perfect for my stubborn lashes like the ones that stick down or like out of the corner and like just look weird and it's like they don't want to be curled with all the other ones so I thought this would be perfect for it to curl it but it isn't really sucks whenever I try to curl those ones that stick down too far it like it just doesn't work it's like not getting it in like the corner of my lashes like whenever I try to curl it, it like like spreads out my lashes and gives it that ugly like gap kind of thing so this doesn't work for me and I'm not sure who it works for so maybe you found a way to work with it but I just haven't and I don't like it sorry not my favorite okay next on the studio list is on the elf makeup mist and set and you may have seen this before or, I mean it's a nice like idea three dollar like makeup mist and set because there's a lot of higher end ones such as the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and this one's only like eleven dollars I want to say and then the model in the bottle this is my second bottle and this one's like around twenty one dollars and you have to order it online so a three dollar like alternative seems great and that's what I thought at the time too and I'm not going to hate on it completely um, because I do love it. I really do. I use powder foundation these days, like not so much of my liquid, not so much of my tinted, just mostly powdery and uh, kind of giving me a more of a natural look. And sometimes with powder, it dries out my skin a little, like my skin's a little like thirsty with all that powder. So to quench the thirst, I actually use this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It has aloe green tea, cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. And it like, doesn't that list ingredient just sound like a quencher? And it really is. It's a skin quencher. It's not so much of the whole keeps your makeup like in place all day. It like more so just like, it gives your, um, if you use a lot of powder, it kind of gives it more of like a toned down look. Like it makes it less powdery and just gives your skin <laughs> that quench it needs. So I love it for that but it's just not up to par with makeup setting as my model in the bottle. I love that one the most. Okay, now the very last item I have here is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Makeup Primer. For some reason, this is in the studio line. I know it says Mineral Infused, but it's not a part of the, their mineral line. But it is $6. A little bit like drugstore pricey. I'm in the Rimmel ones like $6 and Hard Candy also but it's not like high end and it comes with a pump so that's really great but the pump is a little hard to control and it comes out with a lot and it's a, like a gel like consistency you can see this and it kind of feels oily like it has this oil like very oily watery feel to it and I've have used this a couple times and you know what some of the times when I use this, I like broke out and I'm not sure if it's this or if it's just like something going on like else with my face, but so I kind of stayed away from using this a lot because of breaking out and I'm just like, I'm not sure if this is great for me because I've used the Smashbox, a little travel size one that's $16, it makes me sad and I've practically used this and uh, I wanted an alternative, but this one did not make me break out. It had a thicker gel consistency. It did not feel oily or greasy as the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one, can you see how much shine is on my like hand? Like I wonder if you can see that shine. It's like oily grease ball city right there. And my Smashbox is not like that. So it's kind of like a miss for me on that mineral item or face primer. So maybe it works for you, but not for me. Okay, so thank you for actually listening to my Elf Hits and Misses on um, tools section. And I want to do a quick thank you to Mojo Love, who is absolutely an amazing girl on YouTube. She did a shout out for me with like, I didn't even ask her to or anything. And I just saw the video and it was absolutely spectacular. I was so like overcome with joy kind of thing and I was like oh my goodness like that is the sweetest thing 
ever and that is so nice she's gorgeous and it's so cute she has like a black kitten she just I think she just got I'm not too sure and the kitten is actually adorable it's so funny I think kittens are the cutest things in videos like whenever I see a makeup video and I see a kitten in there like I feel like it or a cat I feel like it just gives the video a better like feel to it you know and uh, it was so cute the kitten was like playing with the curtains like her background while she was giving like the shout out and everything and it was so adorable it was in her foundation routine video I'll link her down in the info and um, the video she gave me the shout out to if you want to see that so I just want to say thank you so much I really appreciate that she's the sweetest thing ever thing like she's a thing no sweetest girl ever okay and you guys should totally check her out and subscribe to her absolutely and go ahead and tell her that the XOXO life sent you there um, I would it would mean like the world to me if you did that okay because I think that is amazing alright so have a wonderful and gorgeous day bye